going to show you how to bleed the air from the fuel lines on Cummins. Cummins diesel B 3.3 turbocharged. And this is a very simple procedure. And we have a two li fuel lines. One is a lower pressure, which is this one, to the filter with the primer pump from the fuel tank. And uh, from the fuel injector pump to the fuel injectors. This is a high pressure, you see they're metal ones, those ones are lower pressure. Okay, to bleed the lower pressure fuel lines, the lower pressure fuel lines are bled by the pump in the hand pump that were on the filter cap. You just go like this and I keep pumping like this, pump, 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 pump. And as soon as you feel the resistance on the spring, and you can see fuel is there, you're good. And you, have, you know the fuel is up to the pump, and yeah, keep pumping. Yeah, this is a uh, lower pressure, and as soon as I've done this, you go and uh, bleed the air from the high pressure fuel lines, which is this. See the fuel injectors? One, two, three, four. And uh, venting is accomplished by the loosening one or more fittings are the fuel injectors and cranking the engine and allow the entrapped air to bleed from the lines. Have a 17 mil wrench. Let's crack it like this. Be careful. Okay, this is good enough. And remember, there's enough uh, fuel pressure to be sufficiently to penetrate the skin. Can we call those Injury, just don't go with your fingers there. See, that's good enough. And then we're going to crank the engine. Little kid thing, just collect the fuel a little bit. All right, let's go crank. That should start. This is how you bleed the air from the fill system on Cummins B3.3. Thank you so much for watching. If it's helpful, go and watch more videos and support my small hobby YouTube channel. And also feel free to subscribe. See you soon, guys. Take care.